Hi, everybody. Hi, I'm Ryan. I'm Bethany. And we are Ryan and Bethany Board Game Reviews. And today we'll be talking about Cytosis, and this is published by Genius Games and designed by John J. Covey. Covey. Close enough. This shirt just blends right in with this game, the top of this game box. It does! It's like it emerged from my shirt. I could oh. wish, like, get this printed on my shirt, and it would just blend right in. It would. All right, you guys, this is a game about cell biology. What you're trying to do is it's a worker placement game. You're placing all your different actions down, your little, these little flasks, you know, these science flask things, down in an effort to kind of build these different cell components. You know, there's all these different cell membranes and enzymes and lipids and all that stuff. I've forgotten most of it since ninth grade biology. So this is a good refresher. Let me show you how it plays. All right, here's our setup for Cytosis. This game is a worker placement game. It is all about cell biology. You're trying to complete these different kinds of cards like this, which I'll get to that in a little bit. Let me first show you kind of some of the actions. So on one of the actions, for instance, you could go up here. You could get three of those lipids, or perhaps you might go over here, turn some of your ATPs into the green cubes, which are carbs. Uh, maybe you can cash in uh, some, some of those cubes that you've acquired for enzymes. But then there's kind of the more complicated route. There's these two charts over here, kind of go down to the of the Golgi apparatus, which ultimately go down here to the plasma membrane to complete those particular parts of the cell. Okay, so there's five main resources. The black cubes are the mRNAs, the red cubes are proteins, the yellow cubes are lipids, and the green cubes are carbs. The kind of little, little, I don't know how to describe them, little explosion looking things are ATPs. Uh, that's going to be the five resources that you use to kind of run the whole, the whole thing. The majority of your points are going to come from these cards. Let me give you some examples of them. We've got enzymes. There's a spot on the board you can just go to enzymes. You can pay those resources, uh, the, the two ATPs, as well as the two proteins, in order to get the three points at the end. The health is your points in this game. However, there's also at the bottom of an extra scoring mechanism that says for every color of enzyme you have, and there's a bunch of them, there's five different colors, the more sets of the different colors, uh, you're going to get more and more points. There is alcohol detoxification. It's gonna cost you three of those ATPs. You do one point at the end of the game, but uh, whoever has the most of them at the end of the game is also going to get eight points. Uh, second most is gonna get five, and third most is gonna get two of those. So this is gonna be important to collect. We have steroid hormones. So let me kind of stop here and show you that part of the board, how to complete one of these steroid hormones. We would have needed to collect these resources throughout the game through some means. But let's just pretend we already have them. We're going to start this thing off by going to here, placing one of our discs, and all the yellow cubes that, that card requires. All right, for another action, we can go down here to the Golgi apparatus, slide this whole thing down, and then it says add in the green cubes. And for another action, we can go down here to the plasma membrane, turn the whole thing in. At this point, we're also going to pay the ATP that's on that card and then score that nine points there at the bottom. So those can be very lucrative. These prote protein hormones are going to work very similarly. Uh, they're going to go on the right side of the chart, whereas the blue cards are going to go down the left side of the board. Uh, again, those are worth a lot of points, those, but they require a lot of steps to complete them. There's also going to be cards that you're going to find in that cell component deck that just flat out say, hey, take some resources, which can help you out as well. At the beginning of the game, uh, we're also going to have these goal cards out there. There's six of them. We're going to shuffle them out, deal out three of them, and they're going to say things like uh, gain an additional two points for each enzyme you've completed this game, or gain an additional three points for each protein hormone receptor you've completed this game. Things like that. At the very, very, very top of the board there, there's a spot where you can actually take over the first player marker, and also when you do that, you get to place one of your discs on one of these goals, saying that's going to be the goal that you're working on. And if you're the first person there, you're gonna get three points as well, so that's really great. The last thing I wanna show you is this event deck. You're gonna have basically a number of events equal to, you know, based off the number of players, and every, at the end of every round, you're gonna flip over another one of these event cards, and it's gonna say something like, hey, there's a nucleus boost, place one additional black cube, which is the M, N, I can't say it, mRNA cube to the nucleus this round. So if anyone goes to that nucleus spot at the very, very, very top of the board, instead of getting three of those cubes, they're gonna get four this round. That event deck also kind of acts as the timer for the game. Once that event deck runs out, you're going to just play one more round of placing everything out there, and then you're going to go to the scoring round. You're going to add up all the points that you've gotten from these cell component cards. You're going to add up your points for you've gotten from being the first one to place on these goal cards. And then obviously you're going to add up what the goal cards themselves rewarded you with, 
And at the end of the game, whoever has the most points wins. There are some games that I play and I get it like right away. Then there are other games I play that I get it while I'm playing it, but I don't know how to win. Then there are other games that I play that I don't get it until after the whole game has been finished. This is the number three one for me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we had to play it. Like, I played it, wanted to play it right away after we played it the first time. And it went like, I just said like a lot and I do apologize for that. Um... They're all keeping a tally at home. Like, yeah. No, there's another one. The time took about half the time to play. After that first game, just seeing how everything moved, and then we're like, we got it. And then, choo, 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 choo. it was so fast. It really was. It was so fast. I don't know why I had such a hard time. But if you play this once, make sure to play it twice. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this game is a worker placement game. I absolutely loved the worker placement aspect of this game. There's just a lot just of really cool things that you could do. I liked how some of the cards, uh, you were able to just like play the resources down, pay for them, and then you score the points. There's usually a small amount of points. Yeah. But other ones, you had to actually go through this whole process of, of you know, cycling through this, you know, this, this series of events that took, might overlap one or two or maybe even three rounds, depending on what, whether you get blocked or not. And I love, those are usually worth a lot of points. So I love that kind of that tension there. I just, there's a whole lot of places to go. You go get the first player. Uh, you can go get some extra resources. Uh, you can pick up some of the cards. Um, I just thought this was a worker placement game was just super, super solid. Yeah, it wasn't a mean game, but you definitely had to play offensively in order to do well. The first player was important. It really was. You know what else was important? Those goal cards. Yes. Those were so important. Our games seem to have been won and lost by who was able to place the first two. It just, it might just be us, but it really seems that that carried a huge weight. Or we're just that good of gamers, so that's how close all of our scores are. Or that bad. Or that bad. <laughs> Whatever. If we're good or bad, we're doing it together. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Team Newmeyer. But yeah, those gold cards are like super important. And there's, there's so little of what you're doing, right? There's so little of what you're focusing on, but you need those. All right, so the round cleanup in a lot of worker placement style games is usually pretty involved. A lot of upkeep, a lot of moving around, clearing it off of the board, um, flipping over new cards, flipping over new actions. Uh, you know, this was unbelievably fast. It was just one little quick row of cards, zoop, and then clearing off your pieces and flipping over an event card, which is just usually one resource added to the board. And that's it. I mean, we're talking 15, maybe 10 seconds, right, in between yeah, rounds. If, if that, yeah. Lightning fast. You're playing the next round immediately, but essentially after playing all your pieces, you get them all back and you play them again, yeah. right, basically right away. Probably why that first game play took so much longer and the second game play went, joop. Exactly. We were, we were yeah. playing over each other. It was just so easy. It was, it was very smooth. So this is the first Genius Games that I have played where I was not thinking about the theme at all while I was playing it. I'm sure the theme made sense to like the, the actions that were happening, but I was doing just the actions and I was not thinking about cell biology at all when I was playing this game. And that could just be because I was so far removed from it. And they do have that little like book in there. So if you wanted to refresh yourself on, on what all of this meant, you could definitely do that. But it's the first time I played one of their games where I'm like, theme, gone, I'm just playing the game. Yeah, I agree. And that's not usually not a standard that we hold to other game companies too. So it's not really fair that we're holding no. <laughs> Genius Games to that same standard. But um, truthfully, every time we've played one of their games, we've learned Oh, or, or, uh, relearned. or relearned and yeah. reinforced some skill or some knowledge that we had of a science-based topic. This time, it just felt like a really, really fun worker placement game. Cell biology wasn't even at the forefront. It wasn't even there at all. It didn't feel like I was doing anything to do with cell biology. I even read through that. You know, there's a, there's the rule book. There's a secondary book that says the science behind why yeah. everything is the way it is, which I love that says in there. I even read through it, um, and it helped me kind of reinforce what I learned back in ninth grade. Uh, and still, I've, I didn't. I don't. It, it didn't stick with me. Maybe this is not a, a career path that I followed or, a, you know, but mRNAs and, and lipids and all this stuff. Like, I don't I don't know what that is still. I have no idea why that, like, why it, why it mattered. I'm sure the Journal of Cell Science knows. I'm sure they do. Um, and that's why they like this game. <laughs> Uh, so yes, if you're going to play this, definitely read that rule book that, or that, you know, that extra book, science yeah. rule book thing. So that way it kind of brings the theme home. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but with all of that said, gosh, did I like this game? It was so much fun. It's definitely a game that's going to stay on our shelves for a while. I would play it right now. Actually, it was super, 
Are you trying to like have it blend in? Yeah, I don't want it to be the exact match of the lighting. Oh, yeah, just keep moving around. You'll find it. You'll find it. It'll be good. <laughs> Sorry, I, bl- I believe distracting in you. It. <laughs> I believe in you. Yeah, I really like this game. It was a ton of fun. I'd play it right now. I'd play it with people. I I might even be able to teach this game because that's how much I was able to understand it when I was playing that I could then transfer that knowledge to other people. Great game. Loved it. I agree. Uh, worker placement, just super, super solid. Really, really fun. Uh, really vivid colors, which I love that in a game, too. A lot of Genius games have that, that you know, those brighter colors. None of the blue, blacks, reds, you know, whatever. This was like you know pastels and stuff, which I thought was fun. Uh, but um, I'm looking forward to when our daughters get to where they're in biology classes, because we can actually use this yeah. and see if, you know, if maybe it's just my old, you know, dusty brain trying to figure out something I had learned, you know, 30 years ago, or if uh, this would actually help them learn, which I, I believe it probably would, re- yeah. you know, as, as they're learning in textbook form, learning on the game board, too. I think that would be a lot of fun. Did anybody else imagine, like, Ryan taking his brain and, like, dusting it off and putting it, <laughs> <laughs> like, good to go? Like, those, what are the, I didn't play video games as a child. What are those? Oh, the cartridges, the NES yes, cartridges. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, put the brain back in. Good to go. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see our videos as they come out. You can follow us on Facebook, we're Ryan Bethany Board Game Reviews. On Twitter, we're Ryan Bethany One. And on Instagram, we are Ryan and Bethany. And don't forget to stay tuned to the very end for our pounds and inches update. But until then, see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye. Hey everybody, thanks for sticking around for our Pounds and Inches segment. This is where we talk about you know, what we're trying to do in our lives to be healthier people. This is what we are, uh, sometimes it's, it's things that uh, have been working well, sometimes it's things that haven't worked well, or just, just topics that, that, are, that are on our mind. In cytosis, health is the name of the victory point. Sometimes it's like victory points, or sometimes it's like money, or sometimes there's other resources that they use yeah. for, for points. Yeah. It was health, was the actual resource, the actual victory point. was, And at the end, on the box, the back of the box, it says, uh, the healthiest player at the end of the game wins. So that just was really, like, really spoke, spoke to me, like, you know, in the you, game of life. In the game of life. And if you want to have that longevity, you yeah. know, health is just so important. And I, that's kind of been why I've been fighting for so long. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm, I'm unhealthy right now. But I could, you know, if I hadn't taken so, at least some of the steps I've been working towards, I could be in a lot, yeah. a You've lot worse shape. You've never fully given up. Yes. Yeah. Um, so I've got some things in the pipeline which I'm excited to talk about in future Pounds and Inches segments. Uh, but this is uh, just a nice reinforcement to us that the healthiest player at the end of the game is going to live the longest, you know, <laughs> basically. Uh, and I want to be there around there for, for, for Bethany, for our kids. And be making content for you guys. So hopefully you guys won't want me to stick around too. <laughs> <laughs> Please say you like me. <laughs> all right, that's all I've got for today. Just a reminder that, uh, um, yeah, health is important. And I'm working towards it. Everybody, thank you so much for sticking around for our Pounds and Inches segment. We will see you later. Bye, everybody. Bye.